Yo, what is going on guys? Horcrux here. Welcome back to the channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to efficiently farm one of the best EXP sources in the game in all of ESO Which is Skyreach. Okay, I do predict there's gonna be a double XP event coming up very soon So you might want to stick around for some tips and tricks on your pooling methods to shave off minutes of each and every single run So let's get into it Okay guys, so let's hop into it. Before we get started on today's video, huge shout out to my patrons. You guys are funding my ramen noodle addiction. Thank you so much. This channel would not be possible without you guys. Also doing PvP Top 5, we will be having one this week. So if you want to submit your clips, please do so with the link down in the description or the card on your screen. Alright, before we even... yeah, Okay, let me preface this by saying why am I even doing this? Okay, so my content is 95% PvP, but guys... At some point, you have to grind new characters, you have to grind skill lines, like, none of this shit's free, right? Your boy Horcrux has to grind somehow, and this is how I do it each and every single time. Yes, there is a slightly better method than what I am about to show you, but it requires more coordination, it requires specific abilities, it, it requires a lot, okay guys? This is the most brain dead, easiest way. Now, during double XP events, if you're popping 150% EXP scrolls, you can get a character from level three or level four to level 50 in two, two and a half hours if you do this efficiently. Now, before we even get into how you need to pull and yada yada and skyreach, you need to go over the very basics, guys. Please have your self set crafted of anything training, like uh, Run Giuliano's just training you need this as a trait guys this gives you so much xp from killing monsters okay i'm sure you guys already know this i don't really need to go over that now if you want to go a step further you can marry someone with a ring of mara uh here make me sandwich uh which is john my roommate uh, you actually get an xp bonus in addition when you group with that person and you also get an additional 10 percent xp boost when you're just in a group in general in Skyreach. Okay, well, a group in general, like, period. Now, if you have access to uh, one of the mythic items, Ring of Pale Order is fucking phenomenal. This thing keeps you alive through everything. You, you need nothing defensive. If you can slot Ring of Mara, okay, guys, you're never going to die. You're put outputting so much damage, and 20% of the damage you deal, uh, you get back as health. So it feeds into itself. So Ring of Pale Order is going to keep you alive. 100% of the time when you're in here, even when you get quick scope by the uh, the focus aim uh, bitch boys in the back. Now, champion points. There's one in particular where they're running magic or stamina. Uh, the bloody renewal and siphoning spells is very helpful. Every time you kill an enemy, you gain uh, stamina and magic respectively. The next thing I need to point out: super, super, super important, guys. If you're running a magic class, destruction expert. If you have this passive, please do so get it eye of the storm is a phenomenal ultimate for this if you don't have access to this in case you're leveling you know skill lines or whatever that's okay that's not the big thing now the big thing is the fighter skill skill line now you level this up really quickly in skyreach you can get this to, to level 10 in like literally an hour so banish the wicked is your bread and butter Okay, you get three ultimate every single time you kill an enemy. There's no cooldown on this, assuming you have a fire skill ability slotted, uh, which you most definitely need to do. So, Banish the Wicked is what you need if you have the skill points for it, guys. Like, if you don't have it, eventually you will get it. Please slot them. So, let's cut away, go back to past Josh, and go over the proper routes at which you need to pull Skyreach in order to get the most efficiency out of your runs. Let's go. Yo, thank you so much for that handoff, Future Josh. Now, let's go ahead and get into the runs. Now, I'm not running anything special. You notice my skill bars are completely dog shit. It really doesn't matter, right? You're going to be leveling uh, your skill line. So, this is going to vary from person to person. One additional ability I forgot to mention is to have the Sigic or skill line uh, uh, race against time. It really helps with the snare removal because every single time you kill one of these zombies, they put this annoying gas snare in the ground. And if you're not careful, you can get a perma root and die in it so notice i'm using a resto staff i'm pulling all of the corners so these little uh bone guys on the ground especially in this corner right here uh, you want to hit those and make sure you don't miss them otherwise they come out really slow and it just uh prolonged your run so what you want to do you want to pull everyone to these steps right here you want line of sight rest the ads drop your ults now when you kill this amount of ads right here the ghost spawn now if you 
don't pull them here, sometimes these ghosts take forever to spawn. So pull everyone here on the steps, line of sight, wait about 10 to 15 seconds, and then pop back out. And, and about that time, all these ads should already caught up and rebounded up to you. Uh, we did kind of pull out a little prematurely. <laughs> no pun intended. That's what she said. And uh, it's still a pretty clean run. And this one fire mage survived everything for some reason. So this is where Race Against Time really comes in handy. So you can sneak past these guys. You don't have to engage. Now on these skelly boys up here, you want to go to the left-hand side. The left-hand side will not aggro them. You can literally walk on top of their ball sack and it, and it won't pull them. I'm just checking to see if I have Hrothgar on. But uh, yeah, walk to the left-hand side. And while you're going to open this chest, uh, my buddy should have been pulling the ads right now to go ahead and get them spawning. But uh, he's asleep at the wheel here, but uh, that's okay. So again, pull everything. Uh, corner boys, I missed that corner boy because I'm dumb, but don't worry, my teammate got it. Uh, come all the way back here to this wall. This is pretty important too. So you want to come back here to, th to this wall for about 10 and 15 seconds. The reason you want to do that, again, is to get all the ads as closest to you as possible before you kind of pop out and, bur and, pop out and burst. And you see these ads are still kind of spawning. Had Jonathan pulled them sooner, they wouldn't be uh, actually spawning over there. Now, a very useful set to use, as you guys just saw, is DC to pull those uh, straggler ads uh, into your AoEs. Um, that's really helpful as well if you want to run that set, you know, just a little bit more efficiency. Notice the uh, the kind of guards and major guards on the side. Uh, just pull those in. Those are pretty annoying to deal with. Now, pretty much at this point, it's just turn and burn, right? Anytime you see this Goliath spawn, you need to just like burst this thing down because he can delay the spawns of the other ads. And sometimes if he spawns with uh, some of the other random ads, he will actually glitch out like it's stuck in the wall and you can't kill him and then you can't finish off the rest of the ads and then you can't open the chest and yada yada so i may end up speeding up this part or just let it play in full i'm not sure yet so we'll see when we get to the editing what i have the mental uh capacity of doing but yeah i know it's worth full magic the entire time as long as you have those champion points okay no, no need to speed it up so on to the next pulls again resto staff is a uh, pretty uh, helpful here of course you can lie attack with anything but resto staff really lets you know uh, whether you tag the ads or not. Again, hit all the little skelly boys in the corner. Run down these steps over here, guys. Pull all the ads. Now, there's this one ad that kind of spawns over here to the right that's really annoying. But yeah, stay down here for, again, a good 10 to 15 seconds. You know, pop whatever ult you have. Just spam your destruction staff skill lines or stamina class. You know, spin the winds, what have you. But yeah, you're not supposed to... Yep, there he goes. DC, very helpful for that. Again, 10 to 15 seconds slowly walk up the steps and by the time you get to the top of the steps all the ads that are going to spawn and chase you are already at the top of the steps so there's no need to chase them down bada bing bada boom now this part's very quick as well you want to kick from group immediately invite back to group and then you can hit b to leave instance and there you go that's it guys probably like a three and a half to four minute run not too shabby for a bunch of pvpers who don't ever do this ever so if we can do it in that amount of time i know you guys can too so let me know if you guys found this helpful i really hope it was uh, again i don't you know i don't do this con the type of content more often but if you want to see something more like this you know by all means let me know uh yeah so this has been horcrux please like and sub if you haven't already or even dislike the content doesn't matter to me the youtube algorithm loves the interactions thank you guys for tuning in and i will catch you all in the next one Peace.